The field of herbalism is a fascinating subject that many people in America simply don't know about. And I'm not just talking about the common person, I'm talking about medical physicians who went to medical school, nursing students. This whole process of becoming a licensed medical doctor doesn't even touch on natural, complementary, and alternative medicine. They do have a few credits on uh, nutrition, but overarching themes are rooted towards pharmaceutical, symptom-based solutions, and this is why so many people are interested in herbalism. My name is Fernando, and I've been in the field of teas and herbs for the last decade. I work with holistic medical physicians, herbalists, naturopaths, homeopaths, people who are licensed in the state, and international healers who use teas and herbs to help heal the body. I'm gonna cover two things that most people who are looking into herbalism often overlook. Before I do, I wanna share with you that if you have questions about this field, please look at the website, zenstea.com. Check out all the teas and herbs that we carry. Look at the links. Many of them have been used on other websites for natural healing. The information published on it, it's all peer reviewed, published articles that are backed up on our other website, zensmedicine.com, or it's actually, you type in zensmedicine.com, but it's uh, short, zensmed.com, that's Z-E-N-S-M-E-D.com. We have that because quite frankly, the powers that be don't want you to know about the healing power of teas and herbs. Insight number one, when it comes to complementary and alternative medicine, also known as herbalism, is that there is a lot of information published by medical physicians. Western and Eastern all agree that natural teas and herbs are not only effective, but they actually help the body with less side effects. The way in which these botanicals are grown are not regulated, and understandably so. I can grow carrots in my backyard, but those carrots, although they are great in fiber, may not have the same amount of fiber as the carrots that are grown in my neighbor's backyard. So there is some irregulation, but that's one thing that you have to understand is that there's lots of information already published. Look up what the benefits are. Understand you might not just get the answer you're looking for because one of the strategies that the powers that be have used to kind of hinder people from going the more natural route is a surplus of ridiculous dissertations that say, yes, although there is some evidence, because it's unregulated, it's not safe to trust. So number one, there's a surplus of information available online. You might have to do some research. Fortunately, I published a lot of that information on the website zensmed.com, that's Z-E-N-S-M-E-D.com. It's a free website, check it out. And if you have some insight that you would like to share on herbalism, you can create a blog on that website for free. Number two, it's kind of the dark side of herbalism, complementary and alternative medicine. Many well-intentioned people are now taking the time to do these online classes with no credentials, and, and I don't mean certified, I mean licensed by a legitimate medical professional. It is a profession to be a healer. They're taking these online classes and they're self-proclaiming themselves as herbalists. It's, it's suppressing, it actually does a disservice to the field of complementary and alternative medicine. I actually talk about this in my book, the Holistic Business Handbook, Revolutionary Answers for the Movement in America, or the healthcare movement in America. If you want a copy of that book, you can click the link below and you can see that there is a lot of regulation in this industry and there are a lot of people who are credible doing great things in the field of herbalism. But unfortunately, people are self-proclaiming themselves as herbalists. They assume multiple things that they read can be directly applied to the people that they genuinely want to help. I quite frankly am shocked just how quickly people uh, with no hesitation to uh, claim themselves as qualified to make medical suggestions. I have multiple videos that talk about 
teas and herbs. I have a series on our YouTube channel on herbalism, what to watch out for. I want you to take a look at that. If you are an aspiring herbalist or you're just looking to learn more about how teas and herbs can help the body, please take a look at our multiple videos. We do a great, great service to the community by doing the research. You can look at just about any link and, or any link below in these uh, health related claims and see that not only is it published and peer reviewed, it's been tested time and time again from people who are legitimate medical physicians. I also have interviews with medical physicians on the YouTube channel Zen's Tea House uh, YouTube station. So please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about this field, please download the book, The Holistic Business Handbook. It's in the link below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And again, if you want more information about these teas and herbs, go to the website www.zenstea.com.